the beginning of the build out. Embroidery. What is it? Why is it important? What's the word even mean? Why do we even care about it? In this video, I want to talk to you guys about the concept of embroidery, what it means to you as an apparel producer, what it means to you as a product creator, and how it relates to our business in, in general and what it can do for you. Embroidery is nothing more than a big word for taking a product and decorating it by embedding thread or material into that existing material. For example, um, this is an embroidered hat. What goes on is that this goes into a machine as a blank hat without any of this design on there and this logo or lettering or whatever the case may be gets embroidered into the hat and it becomes a decorated product. In this video I want to go over the different types of embroidery there is, the different forms of embroidery we do, and just kind of different techniques in the embroidery area. So one form of embroidery that we do is flat embroidery, which is what you see here. This is a flat design as opposed to a 3D or raised design, right? A raised design would look kind of like this. What we do with something like this is we lay down a layer of foam on top of uh, an embroidered logo and then we embroider on top of the foam, creating little tears within the foam and then the embroidery kind of sits above it and seals that foam into the hat. So that gives the, the hat kind of like um, a textured or three-dimensional look. The next form of embroidery I want to talk to you guys about briefly is metallic em em embroidery. Metallic embroidery it's what the word says. It gives it a shine, it gives it a pop. It has a metallic look to it. So this is an, a, a very popular form of embroidery or thread that we use, it's called metallic gold. As opposed to an embroidery, an embroidery thread like this, right, which is a, a little bit less flashy, a little bit less metallic. But really what it comes down to with embroidery is the design that you're using. Embroidery is an application for creating products. With any great product, your message is what's most important. Another form of embroidery that we do that we're, we're known for in this area is full garment embroidery or jacket back embroidery. This is a jacket back embroidery that we've done. There's 160,000 stitches. Uh, to put that into perspective, this is about 10,000 stitches. So obviously the cost on something like this because of the amount of stitches and time that it takes will be substantially more than something like this. The way you need to look at it is that for every thousand stitches, it's about a minute of runtime on the machine. So the more you run up your runtime on the machine, the more your, your cost of production is gonna be. A lot of times we hear this word embroidery, we don't really know what it means as far as wh what the technology is or how it works or whatever the case may be. I wanna simplify the process for you and I wanna explain what embroidery is. Embroidery is nothing more than taking thread and putting it through another material to create a design. Obviously there's some complexities in going from a concept or a design to a finished product, but the word embroidery is that simple. Embroidery starts from concept and design and goes from design finalization to vectorizing to digitizing to sampling out. So let me go through that again with you. When you come in and you're a brand and you say, hey guys, I wanna, I wanna create a hat. The first question that you're gonna get from either me or one of the other guys here is, is this a logo or a lettering job? A logo tends to be a little bit more complicated of a digitized design. So what we do with a logo is it has to go to our graphics department and it has to be digitized. There's a cost of doing that, so you guys need to know about that. Digitizing is the act of manually plotting the points of embroidery on a design. For example, when you send us a vectorized file of this, our embroidery machine doesn't read PNG files or JPEGs. Those are flat files, they're just images. The act of digitizing or the process of digitizing is converting that vector file or PNG or JPEG or whatever it is from that file format to a file format that an embroidery machine can read. Basically, when, when we send it out for digitizing, what we're doing is we're literally plotting the point of embroidery for each needle hit. For example, in this design, the tiger's face is gold. And inside the tiger's 
gold face, it has tiger stripes. The machine has to be told where to put down the needle, where to take it out and bring it back down in order to plot each point of this design. That's digitizing. Digitizing is a pretty big deal. A properly digitized logo means a lot less work for us as embroidery guys, and it means a better finished product for you as a producer. I think what it comes down to is understanding that although embroidery is a simple, there are processes to going from concept to finished product. Let me repeat that process for you. The first step is having a really clean image or a vector file, preferably. The next step is gonna be digitizing, sending your vector file out for digitizing. The third step is going to be sampling out your product. Sampling out your product is pretty simple. What our art department does is that it sends your logo through a machine run in order to see the finished product. For every digitized design you do, you're entitled to see a sample out before we run to production. Every time you make a change after you receive a sample out, it's going to push our production time back. So for example, let's say you send me a vectorized logo and you say, hey look, we want to get this digitized. We send it off for digitizing, we sample it out, it comes back to you guys. And you turn around and say, hey look, I don't like this part of it. Well, we're gonna change it to make you happy. But you need to understand that every time there is a change, it's gonna push back our process. With that being said, it's important for us to get your job right. So I wanna make sure that you understand the full process of how it works. From vector to digitizing, from digitizing to sampling out, from sampling out to approval and, and machine run. So I, I hope that this has been a help to you guys and you have a little bit better insight on how embroidery works and what the technology of embroidery is. I want to show you guys some different embroidery runs that we're doing. I want to take you through the process and we're going to get the camera over there on the machine to give you an idea of what embroidery looks like and the action of the machine while it's running. So what you see behind me right now is our embroidery machine in the Berlin store. When you put in an order for a hat like this, Generally what we're gonna do is we're gonna process your order, go through the vectorizing, digitizing process, and once your order gets approved by you, the next stage of the process is hitting a machine like this behind me. The amount of time and effort that goes in to maintaining this machine is not quantifiable. In order to keep our efficiencies high, it's very, very important that once this hits the machine, you understand that there's no turning back after that. Your design is done and it's ready for embroidery. That's why you get a sample out. That's why we make sure you, you hit us with an approval email and we go back and forth until you're ready to do that. The cost of running a design like this is really dependent on the amount of stitches in that design. So if you have something that is a 60,000 stitch design, that's a 60 minute design. That's gonna run for about 60 minutes on a machine like this. When you have something that's a 10 minute design, that's a completely different design time. So that's gonna be a lot less time as far as embroidery time on our machine. So really we price it out according to the amount of time that it goes. Generally speaking, you're looking at, for a hat like this, in a higher quantity. When I say higher quantity, I'm talking about 36, 24. You're gonna be approximately in the $10 range. Um, but that really depends on the quantity that you put in. You can go a lot lower than that. You can go a lot higher than that. It really depends on the quantity of hats that you put through. Setting up a job takes time. It's effort to go from vectorizing to digitizing to approval to machine runtime. The more hats you're doing, the more we're able to recoup some of that cost. The less the amount of hats that you're doing, the higher those cost is per hat, and the higher we have to pass that cost off to you. If your order is a 12 piece order, you can expect to have that in the same week, sometimes even the same day. Um, if, your order, if you're ordering 36, 72, 144, there's a time difference in that. So put that into perspective when you're placing your order. Like I said, when it reaches this point, we finalize the design and you're ready for embroidery. The next step of this process is taking you to the machine and showing you how the machine runs. This is kind of like the cool part for me. As long as we've been doing this, I'm still amazed by how beautiful the machine runs. So I want you guys to check that out.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. Look forward to seeing a video on direct to garment. Next, sublimation after that and vinyl cutting after that. Thanks for joining us.